Hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play. Um, as some of you may have heard, I am the video uh, time limit has been removed on my account, so uh, yeah, I guess this video will be the first of many to be just uh, one whole video instead of splitting it up into a session and or parts. So let's begin. Not sure what we were doing last time, but I think we were colonizing the area. So let's just go with that. One frigate and one destroyer. Which one is which? We really need to research in the armor, that's what I think. Some of that going, and let's check out our ships. Not that old. I always like to switch out for these engines, they're so much uh, more efficient. Actually, I think I'll add some more uh, plate onto these ships. There we go. Alright, so we have uh, another empire over here. And I think this one's the one that we're going to be declaring war against. And hopefully snuff him out the picture. Let's go 25. Let's colonize 50 planets. Two worlds and then we'll set it up for uh, war production. Hopefully we have a good amount of ships to uh, use inside the war. There we go. And let's just pick a few planets for uh, auto-colonization. Or uh, rather systems for auto-colonization. I'm trying to avoid colonizing on this side because uh, the area is so big and there's not as many planets as over here. Let's see what they have. Okay, so we're uh, fairly decent in terms of tech. I thought that 100 and or so uh, millimeters of plate, it wasn't really that much. Guess not. Since we're doing good on everything, I'm just gonna 
say no to every single one of these. You might notice that there's some uh, lag at this scale. I think when the, the game came out, they said like the best uh, PCs, you know, realistically would only be able to field like 100 uh, 1,500 planets or something. Uh, right now, I'm fielding, I think, a, I think a thousand, somewhere around a thousand or less. You know what? We can find that out, actually. Yeah, close to a thousand. first few parts it's um, mainly just charts and building but what I'm trying to do is uh, maintain my, my position as uh, one of the best overall empires in the game and I'm just gonna try to keep that lead as long as I can like right now I can it's still a land grab game there's uh, a whole lot of area to be gained at the moment. Fighting green, might as well. Need more worlds to build frigates on. that it's all about the uh, parallel production runs that we can do in a game and once we can do a ton of those it cannot be matched Looks like they're using big ships, but judging by their armor amount, these ships don't have a lot of POW, except for this one. 
nice and big, low armor. Let's see if I uh, if I can watch this fight rather than spend the time in. Once the ships are on grid, attack that. My fucking ships travel faster than their missiles. See how the front, the war is going on their front. Fighters? Holy shit.
I do there. Jeez. Okay, so they're starting to land on grid here. And that's terrible. We need more parallel production right now. Oh shit, they're bypassing their forces. It's not good. landing on grid around here so that's where we'll uh, form up the fences looks like the main fleet arrived going into the system. It's one of these three over here. Now that. Yeah, it looks like it is this one. Keep my forces on standby. Uh, inside the local systems. Moving on their flanks as well. And these guys, yeah, these guys are uh, going to launch an offensive on them, so we'll kind of be sandwiching them. Passing the system. And the forces to follow.
good. We're assaulting them from two sides now. Then we can take them all out. These are uh, part of our old fleet, the oldest ships in the fleet. It's before we change the fighter sizes up. Like, I'd really like to show you guys one of these huge fights, but I just don't have the time with men, with uh, micromanaging all of this. Well, just management in general, I mean, it's not even micromanaging. I guess ships don't fight in deep space. Yeah, those are flat cannons, they're repping our fighters up. But their uh, individual guns can't do very much to them because they're so small. If one dies, um, it's still got the, its cooldown of a few seconds. So, yeah, but those flat guns are really ripping them apart. Good thing they can only fire once every few seconds as well. Doesn't look like we're able to break those shields. up inside the inside this area. We don't have anything to move down here. We should probably pause and find a few more construction worlds. Move into this one. Oh, 